All right, guys, we're at the thousand yard range here. It's 60 degrees outside. We're going to be shooting three different steel targets at 1,032 yards. Got some hand loads here. 100 rounds, 147 Hornady ELDM loaded in a Starline turned piece of brass. And the barrel in this Ruger Precision Rifle here in 6.5 Creedmoor is on 22, 2300 rounds, and I've been seeing some velocity drop on it. So I'm hoping maybe we can break a barrel today so I can put the new proof carbon fiber 24-inch uh, barrel into this Ruger Precision Rifle. All right, so I've got dope dialed in at approximately 80 up and about or eight milliradians or 80 clicks. The optic I'm using is a Razor HD 5 to 20, and it's mounted with a set of Vortex Precision matched scope rings, 35 millimeter. On the end of the barrel, we've got a hybrid Silencer Co. suppressor with an anchor brake with a cold tack suppressor cover. I've got the 147 grain ELDM loaded with RL16, 41.4 grains, averaging 2721 feet per second. Temperature ambient is 61 Fahrenheit. Distance is 1032 yards. Density altitude is 6221. We're dialed for 84 up and 13 left. We'll keep track of the temperature. Barrel temperature right now is 57 Fahrenheit. And the suppressor is 57, 59. So I'll write those down, see how we progress. All right, so here's the first magazine of 10 rounds of the hand-loaded RL16, 41.4 grains. Loaded at an overall length of 2245. And that's uh, OAL to the old guy, not cartridge overall length. So I haven't shot yet today, so who knows if we'll hit. Oh, come on. It's a magazine. This is a AICS magazine, by the way. And uh, I've had to sand off a lot of it, and it gives me some issues still. But when I first got this off Brown Nels, it was a uh, 38 bucks for two of them, I think. It, it was really cheap. They had a surplus of them. But anyway, if you ever have some of these things, they will not fit into a Ruger Precision Rifle. At least mine didn't. So a couple hours of sanding. But anyway, there we go. I'm going to shoot at the gong first. So I've got 8.4 milliradians up and... Let's see, that's 10, 11, 12, 13 left. Here we go. Let's see, make sure I'm, yeah, I got everything. Okay. That's what I got already. All right, coming up to a total of 8.8 .8 mils. Need to come up higher? Yeah, come up another two clicks. And maybe a little bit, was it? Hold a little less wind. Okay. Right now you've got seven to ten. Two rounds in of the total of 100. On blast. That was off left, yep. 930. So 
Cold West win. Eight nine. Hold about two more miles an hour left win. Hit about four inches off the center, seven o'clock. Okay. Hit one inch to the left of the last impact and up about a half inch. Sweet. But it's a bullseye. Let's pay a visit to our other friend here. Oop, nine o'clock edge. Yeah, no call for me. Wind is uh, eight to ten, left to right. Left edge of, uh, it's Bob's cousin, the one in the middle. Are you shooting Bob's cousin now? Yeah, sorry. On glass. Left edge, center of mass. Okay. No, that was uh, his neck. I got him in the neck. The first two shots were uh, his left arm, and then I got him right in the neck, I think. Would you confirm there's a hit on the neck? Yeah, I see it now. Okay. All right, I think we're getting close to the end of our first 10 rounds. We're going to measure the temperature and see how hot we're getting. That was his right shoulder, right or shoulder. his his left, our right, right? Yep. Same elevation as the other shoulder shot. All right, so that's the first 10 shots. Barrel temperature is 92.6 Fahrenheit. Suppressor, 134. That's with the scope cover on. I'm going to take it off. And actually, no, let's shoot another 10 really quick, see what we get to. And then I've got a chamber chiller I've been using since the summer. We'll see how quickly we can reduce the temperature. So we'll load up another 10 rounds here. Again, we're using some uh, AICS mags that I went to town with. Went to town on these magazines with some sandpaper to get them to actually seat into the mag well correctly. Now they go up and drop with just gravity. I still get a few hangups on the bolt coming back, which has to do with these feed lips where I have to just sand them down. I put some uh, Sharpie on here just so I could see where it's actually catching or where the abrasions are. So once I... Um, I'm done with today. I'm going to probably sand off the areas that are getting uh, rubbed off where that Sharpie marker is getting rubbed off. All right, so here, let's. Barrel temperature 84 and 129. Write that down. 84, 129 er. Let's see. Today I'm shooting with a different head mounting system with a battery so I don't run out of freaking juice but anyway mag seated all recording all right so I'm dialed for 8.9 milliradians up and seven eight point point eight mils left I am on target Middle target. Middle target? Uh, yep, middle target. On glass. Okay, looks like uh, 6 o'clock, 6.30 on the edge. No call. That was at uh, Bob himself. I shot at Bob's stomach. 
Don't know where I hit though. I'm shooting at Bob now. Hit right below, uh, right below the, um, this, the white center circle. Oh, that's a miss. Whoa. Right. Overcorrection. Okay, so I'm going to dial back on the wind. Your wind is dropped to five. Five to seven. Oh, went off the right edge. So, unfortunately, I was doing two things. I corrected for turret, and then I also held right, and that's how I actually hit on the right side. I double corrected. Don't do that. Use. I hit center. That last one was lower. There's a group of three there. So yeah, you hit him. Uh, Let's make some noise. I'm going to shoot the gong really quick. Alright. I'm glad. Hit. Center. Gong. Oh, okay. So, AICS mag didn't fit. I had to sand it down. This is what happens. The bolt gets cut halfway in between and there's no way to go forward or back. You have to drop the mag slightly and then the casing ejects. So I'm going to have to fix that. I got two of these. They're a really good deal off Brownells. So I bought them for the longer cartridge overall length uh, when hand loading. All right, so let's finish off whatever we have here. Going to shoot at the gong. Oh, took that! I took the damn tape right off. <laughs> but you know, I think you hit actually seven o'clock off the tape, and the sprawl is what ripped the tape off. Sorry. Oh. That was uh that was my twentieth shot. Barrel temperature is one hundred and eleven Fahrenheit. Suppressor temperature is 183. So 111, 183, I'm gonna write that down and see how quickly we can cool this down in five minutes. Let's see, uh, 111, 183. So we've got a um, little gizmo here. I believe it's called the chamber chiller or, damn, I already forgot. But anyway, there's a guy that does some 3D printing um, of this fan unit. It's been on some other channels. I've been using it since the summer and it works pretty well for load development because it lets you bring your action temperature back down uh, pretty fast. Runs off some, uh, let's see, four double A's. This one already kind of got cracked because of the 3D work, but it's my own fault for storing it in the sleeve that it came in. But we'll pop that in there, start a timer for, let's do six minutes, or, on, where's this thing? So we'll run it for five minutes and then take a temperature reading. So we're at six minutes, but in six minutes, barrel temperature now is at 82. Suppressor is at 102. 82, 102. Gonna turn this sucker off. I will put in the actual name of this thing because I can't remember it because I bought it so long ago. All right, so I'm gonna load up another 10 rounds, 147 ELDM. The gong to begin with. How's the wind looking? Uh, it's 
Let's see, so I'm 8.8 .8 milliradians up, and my wind correction right now is five left. Maybe I'll hold, I'll hold true because the wind looks a little bit less, maybe a three to five mile an hour wind. Target's all chewed up, but it's a it's the pretty sounding one, right? Yeah. I think that might have been a hit. That's it. Two thirty edge of plate. Hit. Seven inch. Three inches off center. Uh, that was high. 11 o'clock, one inch off. Nine o'clock, one inch off the, the edge. Hit uh, two inches, 12 o'clock to center of mass. Uh, 12 o'clock high, two inches. Hit seven o'clock, three inches from center. Miss, 11 o'clock, one inch off, edge. Oh. Target. Uh, we're going to go with the gong. On blast. How's the wind look? Same? Yep. That one I might have pulled. 11 o'clock, two inches off. Hit, six o'clock, three inches off. It's yeah. getting ridden off the table. Five o'clock. I'm not Hit, sure if that. One inch off, 11 o'clock. Yep, wasn't sure about that. All right, so. Let's look at the chamber. Let's see. Just for sh oh, that's not that hot down there. All right, so bell temperature is 139, 237 suppressor. Might have to get my uh, other suppressor. Yeah, this one's getting chewed up. I'm going to put my other suppressor coat thing on there. So let's see, 127, 256, 127, 256 Fahrenheit. I'm gonna cool it down again, so restart this timer. Here's two magazines loaded up to save time, but I'm obviously wasting time now talking about it. But here you can see the two AICS mags that have been sanded down. You can see the front sides. Anyway, I've got a plan to entertain you guys a little bit more. I'm going to shoot this as fast as possible on the targets moving from right to left, left to right, and so on. This is going to be uh, 50, 60 total. It's been, again, just six minutes now on barrel temp. So it's gone down to 97 and 124. 97, 124. Ah, shit. I didn't have my mic on. Your wind is going to drop. Three to five. 
All right, so my uh, newer Coltec suppressor cover, which they did say it only it's not good for full auto, but it's already melted, and I only got up to 237-something. So I'm going to have to put back the... Uh, this is the two-part suppressor um, system, and this one hopefully will prevent it from melting. Oh, if I can get it on there. I might have to just leave it that way. All right, so we'll see how that goes. Got 8.8 .8 milliradian still dive for elevation, and I'm at 5.5 milliradians left. And you're, the wind has died down, so I'm going to go to 4. No, it's oh, it's back? Okay. All right, starting with the gong. Here we go. String of 10 shots. To Say again. Wind has dropped three to five. Off the. Eight o'clock, one inch off. Let a hit. No call. Hit. Hit. Middle target. On glass. Hit. Bob. Hit. Hit. Left side. Hit. Left side. Ten o'clock, two inches off. Yeah. Didn't miss that was a miss too, but I didn't see it. Wind picked up. I got it. I'm correcting in the scope. Okay, ten rounds down. And this is the next ten. No stopping. Target. Starting with gun. Um, oh come on! What's going on here? Interesting malfunction. Up, come on, and forward. Good, locked. Okay, gong and ready to send. Uh, 11 o'clock, two inches off the edge. Left side? 11 o'clock. Got it. Middle target, hit. Bob. Yep. Off left. Nine o'clock, five inches. Off the stick. Holy I don't shit! Know what that was. Back to mid target. On glass. Send it. Hit. Damn, his cousin's getting a beating. No, nope, off. Nine o'clock, an inch off the left edge. I'm going to up my uh, turret window so I have to hold over manually. Oh, that was a live round. I just eject. Getting a little bolt happy here. We're on the gong, right? Gong. Wow. 11 o'clock, uh, inch or two off the edge. Further off, 11 o'clock, three inches off. The wind pickup, or is it? Uh, it's uh, three to five. Three to five. Interesting. I wonder if it's the barrel getting really hot. Oh wow! Come on. All right. Up. Nine o'clock, three inches off the edge. Hit, 7 o'clock-ish. Uh, I held half a mil off. I guess there's some wind down range that's actually taken the round. All right, let's do a quick barrel temp check. 
139 and that suppressor is a bit toasty 185 let's see 185 139 that's a suppressor not as hot as the other time that's interesting I had a different cover on there where was the reading taken from let's see ah 205 with the high of 231 okay 233 that's what I thought 233 not 185 all right I'm gonna do another five minutes and cool this sucker down all right guys so we went down range and painted up the target so they look all nice and pretty for you guys the barrel while cooling at six minutes got down from 139 Fahrenheit and from the barrel and 233 on the suppressor down to 90 and 111 Fahrenheit respectively after 15 minutes of having the uh, the fan going in the chamber went down to 73 and 80 respectively so that would be the barrel at 73 Fahrenheit and the suppressor at 80 and right now it's probably more like 18 minutes we're at 69 on the barrel and 74 on the suppressor so got another 20 rounds loaded up here stop the fan winds even less right now we've got maybe one to three mile an hour downrange wind what's the uh, temperature 64.9 so it's gone up we got a 64.9 ambient air I'm gonna dial back to go to zero windage Starting off with the gong. Hit. Looks like lower left. Good call on the windage. Oh. There is a little bit of wind, so I can't hold center. Hit one o'clock. There's some at midfield. Yeah, I'm holding left edge and I'm hitting right, so there is definitely some wind out there. I'm going to dial left to click. Hold center on gong. Let's ring uh, Bob's cousin's bell. Bob's cousin. Send it. Hit right in the neck. Hit left shoulder. Hit right to our left. All right, let's, let's say hello to Bob. Send it. Center of mass just above the white circle. Ooh. Hit on the circle. Right in the bread basket. So, suffice it to say, these rounds are consistent. Because I'm able to make minor adjustments in the glass to walk the rounds in based off of my spotter's calls. Thank you, spotter. Back to Bob's cousin. Right 
Let's go do some gong action. All right, Bob's cousin, you're going to get it now. Oh, no. Bob cousin lives another day. Damn. Getting a little bit too... Uh, Overconfident here with the headshot business. Bob's got a bigger head. Let's go for him. Go for Bob's head. What's the wind doing? Wind is three to five. Damn. Uh, Overcorrect. Down one click. Oh, all right. So let's one see. Click, less wind. Actually, somehow I have one extra round. So that. Oh, no, that's not an extra round. Shit. All right, so we're going to cool the rifle back down just a tiny bit and then fire the last 20 rounds. Here we go with the last 20 shots. 6.5 Creedmoor, 147 grain ELDM loaded in a Starline piece of brass with a small primer. BR4. CCI and we got a bit of a headwind now uh, here in the media AO and then we've got a right to left which is a reversal of what we had before barrel temp after using no chamber chiller from last temperature reading is a uh, 80 91 on the barrel and a 112 on the suppressor 90 over 112. Ah, oh, you piece of shit. There we go. I melted the shit out of this thing. This thing is like mostly ruined. I'm kind of sad. Oh well. All right. Here we go with the last 20 rounds. Here's the first 10. Let's see. I've got. 8.9 dialed up and I've got let's see if we have a slight headwind right now and downrange we've got a right to left at 5 to 8 or is that a 5 to that's an 8 to 10 10 that's 10 but the, the, the real component of it's probably about 7 all right so I'm going to dial 0.9 to the right Uh, I'm going to dial 10 just to be a uh, full, I'm going to dial a full mill right just because it's pretty constant and go from there. I'm going to shoot at the gong first. On glass. On target. Bob's cousin. Did I lose wind? No. Well, it's buffeting out there, so.
Okay. I dialed back point four. Probably got five miles an hour of, of true right to left wind. That's uh, not enough wind. Elevation was good. Two inches. Bring it back like seven inches right. Seven inches right? Good call. Hit. Looks like a headshot. Oh. Uh, four o'clock, an inch off the plate. A little less wind. Also a couple inches. I'm gonna go for Bob. All right, last 10 rounds. I think I'll shoot them all at Bob. So this is round 91, or 90, sorry. Same wind? Trigger issue there. That was interesting. Hit in the belly, favoring to the left. Hit looks like center of the map. I saw something go flying. Did you have tape in the back? Yep. Now we shot 100. Well, guys, thanks for watching. That's 100 pieces of Starline brass for me to clean and kneel, resize, and have fun with. So, thanks for watching.